So I uh, came over, and lo and behold, they said, fine, you can work in our uh, department of microwaves. And uh, the special part was traveling wave tools. I've never heard that word before. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was scared a little bit, but uh, after a uh, few months, I realized that uh, it was something which could easily be understood. And I started to work for 12 years in uh, many different positions uh, with traveling wave tools. The last two years, uh, I got an assignment with uh, my department that uh, the Telstar project was running already for one and a, almost one and a half years and the uh, uh, person that was uh, uh, assigned the traveling wave tool transmitter did not achieve any results. And so I was, uh, I was asked, do you think with uh, your people you can make a good tool? And I was too young not to know the, uh, <laughs> the difficulties of such uh, a job. And I smilingly said, yes, I would like to do it. And in that time, we, uh, uh, I could reach back to my first years where I uh, was asked to study the life of traveling wave tubes and uh, why the efficiency was so low, it was less than 20%. I used all my knowledge and the baby is here. And uh, uh, I uh, gave the design, my uh, uh, technicians and my engineers, they started to, to build it. And uh, lo and behold, uh, we achieved a weight reduction which was just fantastic. And on the other hand, uh, with Telstar, there were, was some other equipment which was much heavier than it was anticipated. So we could trade our uh, weight saving, we could give that to uh, uh, the people that were building the uh, receiver. And uh, at the same time, uh, we, with a number of experiments that we made, were able to double the efficiency of traveling wave tubes. We went from uh, 19 to about 40%. And uh, uh, other people in the uh, field said, that's impossible, he must be cheating. <laughs> <laughs> well, my cheating, if it was, uh, uh, was a, a great uh, help to build the satellite because we had saved uh, uh, a lot of weight off the traveling wave tube. We had also saved a lot of weight by increasing the efficiency. And uh, so uh, everything was for our department much rosier than for other departments that were struggling to make ends meet. Well, uh, the satellite was uh, launched in uh, uh, July 1962 and uh, uh, it worked flawlessly and uh, the tube that was in there uh, a, uh, a journalist asked me you take the responsibility that this tube is not going to fail and I said, I never thought about that. <laughs> to, me, to me, it is clear that these hoops work. Now, we had uh, 14 tubes built 
to the specifications for the satellite. And uh, we used two for two Telstar satellites, and the other ones were in live testing rack. And the, all the tubes uh, continued working. None ever failed. And the great joy was that uh, also these tubes could be then uh, put into use in microwave repeaters across the nation because before uh, nobody uh, liked traveling wave tubes because in remote stations if you do play that was a very costly thing to, to get in there and uh, to uh, make a replacement. And uh, so with the, uh, uh, we had a testing circuit built into the repeater station and the uh, uh, engineer that was uh, checking the station uh, could see a warning early enough so that the next half year or year when he uh, was going to service it again, he could then replace the two. So that uh, was, I think, the commercial gain of uh, the whole project uh, from my point of view. And I uh, would like to say uh, this was a great time in uh, America, working with a whole staff of engineers or technicians and uh, we were working for Telstar very, very hard. We uh, uh, quite often worked till midnight and got up uh, at 6 o'clock and were at work at 7 o'clock. It was a long day, and that for about two years. And uh, I am very proud to say that I have contributed a little bit of technology to the American way of life. I understand that part of today's press conference is being relayed by the Telestar Communications Satellite to viewers across the Atlantic, and uh, this is another indication of the extraordinary world in which we live. So we're glad to participate in this operation developed by private industry, launched by government in uh, admirable cooperation.